How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? You know why kids love athletes? Kids love athletes because they follow their dreams. I see guys who work at the same company for their entire lives. They clock in, they clock out, and they never have a moment of happiness. You have an opportunity. Money's not everything. It's really not. And money can't make you happy. If you, money don't make you happy. I know a lot of miserable people with money. It's not money that makes you happy. It, it don't. It don't make you happy, but it'll park you right in front of Happy's house. And you can at least see if you stay there. Uh, I recommend money. I highly recommend it. Uh, and anybody that told you that money different about money is because they don't have none. But you got to quit listening to people that ain't got money tell you about money. Money, the root of all evil and all that shit. You do evil stuff with money, but if you're a good person, you can do good stuff with money. You know, people say that money changes people. It really doesn't. You know what I learned about money? Money don't change people. Money allows you to be more of who you really are. See, if you're a kind person, when you get a lot of money, you become a kinder person. If you're an asshole, when you get a lot of money, you become a big asshole. Money it allows you to amplify whoever you really are. That's why when you see rich people acting like it's because they always been one. They always been a They just had the money to flex on to show it to you. That's all it is. But you let their get some money. They finna show your something. And that's it. If you see a person that's cool with money, it's because they always been cool. That's what I, I recommend money, but just but it's 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 over. Alright. I'm gonna do this real quick. I was going to show you a real simple thing I figured out a long time ago. Before I go today, I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to show you the simple way to become a millionaire. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. <laughs> One word, progress. Progress equals happiness. If you keep growing, you're going to feel alive. And if you keep growing, you're going to have more to give. It doesn't matter how many statues, Oscars they give you, or Emmys, or how much money you have in the bank. We've all seen people have all those things, and I get the phone call because they're depressed, or somebody commits suicide in that area. It's really an inner game, and I think that's what's missing for us today. Everybody's focusing on the outside world, and hell, there's a lot of things in the outside world you'll never be able to control. You can influence, but you can't control it. This your mind, your emotions, your body. You have 100% control over what you do with these things, and that's where the game is won. Win the inner game, then you win the outer game. But a lot of people spent their life trying to win the outer game, they won, and they're miserable. You can't push yourself forward if all you're thinking about is the doubts and the negative things that people are saying because you're relying more on their ideas and their dreams of you instead of you relying on your own dreams and ideas of yourself. Why would you want to surround yourself with people that don't have ideas that are great? Why would you want to surround yourself? Because of a number you know, a lot of people tend to wonder. Oh, how many friends they have, and how many people in their corner. I have a million followers, I have tens and thousands and thousands and thousands of people that support me. How many of those people do you actually know? Do you realize the power that you have right now? Even the people that don't like you, they are drawn to you, they see you. But they don't see your greatness, they don't see what you truly have inside. This is a rebirth. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for mediocrity, even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. All of us have things that we're believing for, something that we want to accomplish. Deep down, we know it's a part of our destiny. We can feel it so strongly. But then we hit some setbacks. We didn't get the promotion. The medical report wasn't good. Or a relationship didn't work out. Now, don't let circumstances talk you out of it. You may not understand why a business didn't make it, why a person walked away, 
why you came down with an illness. You were doing the right thing, but the wrong thing happened. It's all a part of the process. Your dream may be buried. The good news is it's still alive. It's not too late to see it come to pass. If you'll do your part and start believing again, get your passion back, it is on the way. Go back and try again. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You keep looking for a new opportunities. If you're going to reach your highest potential, you have to make up your mind that you are in it for the long haul. You're not going to let people talk you out of it. Circumstances discourage you. Delays cause you to give up. Critical people cause you to get distracted. You're going to stay focused on your goal. Well, I'm going to show you, it's a really simple way. And it's so true, it's very simple. You just have to understand that it's possible for you. What stops most people from becoming successful is you have something in you that tells you it's not for you. But it's for everybody who wants it. God will give you the desires of your heart. He God, he love you. If you ask your child, if your child asks you for the latest sneaker, you're going to try to get it for him. If he at the school trying to make a field trip, you're going to try to send it. If he need a computer for a class, you're going to try to get this computer for your child. Because he your child. Well, we all got the same Heavenly Father. We his children. When you ask him for something, you don't think he want to give it to you? But you have not because you ask not. Most people don't even ask God for the right stuff. Keep wasting God's time with all these little bitty requests. You're talking to God. Why you keep going to God with this little stuff? Lord, help me make my rent. Don't he always? Why don't you ask for a mortgage? You're talking to God, man. This is the same dude that made heaven and earth in six days. Go to the new car section. You're talking to God. Look at asking God for little stuff. God don't care nothing about no used car. You want a used car, he give you a used car. Ask for a new car. You gonna ask God for five hundred dollars? Might as well ask Him for fifty grand. It's really so. I'm telling you, man, I, I figured it out. It, it ain't. I ain't smart. I ain't got no education. I ain't got no degree of any kind whatsoever. Graduated with a high school diploma. Graduating class was six hundred ninety-five people. I graduated six ninety. You know, when you when you do the thing that you're born to do, there's nothing else you could have done. It's, there's nothing else I could have possibly done. I was born to do this. God gave me this gift. You've got to discover your God-given gift. Your gift is the thing you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. As soon as you discover that, your life changes.